Okay guys, checking in. We're about five minutes in. <laughs> and uh, I'm just letting you know that if I do see a McDonald's, I remember seeing maybe five on the way into Darwin, so if I do see one, I will be buying it. There's no doubt in my mind. All right, you guys, what is up? We're at Catherine. The time is 4.29. That means it's been almost three hours. And I just did an illegal U-turn, but it's all right. Now, I had thoughts, pretty, pretty certain thoughts, to be honest, about 150% certain, that I was going to rest my head uh, somewhere in Catherine. I actually thought, for whatever reason, that there was a McDonald's here, but there's not, so. I've, uh, I've actually, I've driven past, sorry guys, this vlog is going to be incoherent at best because I am fucking tired and to be honest, carrying on this drive right now is not safe, but it's what is necessary because every kilometre that I do now before I go to sleep, possibly, is a kilometre I won't have to do later on. So, I drove past for 10 minutes thinking I'd be able to uh, reach the next spot and that's the thing that you have to you have to watch on these roads at night is that only the major places the major like towns are going to have something open in fact Catherine Darwin Tennant Creek and Alice Springs would be the only ones with anything open right now so if I was to continue driving I would not only run out of petrol but uh, even if I did come across a, a petrol station it wouldn't be open so I had to turn around, come back to Catherine for another 10 minutes, fill up the car, I've got some food, I've got like half of that V drink, I've got to take a piss to be honest, and uh, you know I'm going to continue on. So we're 320 k's in, 320 of the slowest kilometres I've ever fucking done in my life. I don't know why I did this to myself. Anyways, I'll see you guys when we get to the next place. I, I, I don't know how long I'm gonna last. Honestly, I think I'm gonna pull over somewhere and try and get some sleep. Or just, put, just close my eyes and see what happens because, man, it's fucking dangerous. But I'll see you soon. Whoops. All right, one piss stop done. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm actually feeling a little bit, I'm feeling motivated. I'm feeling motivated to get this done. We've got a sandwich. We've got the drink. We've got a pie that I've got on the go. So, uh, mm. damn that tastes good. I haven't had anything since yesterday lunchtime. In fact, you know what? The next time you see me, will be at sunrise, okay? So I'll see you then. Oh, good morning. Good morning, everybody. I missed the sunrise. I only lasted about five more minutes after I talked to you last. Uh, and then I had to pull over and go to sleep. So, it's about six in the morning. I've just woken up. Probably slept for like an hour. And I've got to hit the road again. All right, my friends. Three sleeps deep. Three micro sleeps deep. Honestly, guys, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's better for me or worse to have these freaking half an hour sleeps, but I've done it three times now. There's been three times that I've thought, nah, I just cannot continue. It slows you down, man. That's the thing, but it does make you feel better. And uh, Jesus, that's loud. We're at a place called Dana Dana Narrow or Kananara or some shit like that. I'm not exactly sure. I was quite lucky. To be honest, I, I, I nearly found myself in that predicament again. 
of uh, going past a petrol station, expecting another one to come up, and realizing it was 100 k's away with a quarter of a tank in this little car. And uh, it's quite scary. Well, it's not scary. I know I'm gonna get there, but what I have to do is I have to slow down enough so that I don't uh, chew through my petrol too fast, which, once again, just slows me down. So I'm about 700 k's through. It's 9.21. This vlog is uh, is titled uh, Bali to Alice Springs. Um, it hasn't quite gone as planned. Obviously, I, I stayed an extra night in Bali. God, I wish I flew home, honestly. But uh, I'll show you guys around anyway. This is what this is what we're working with. We're at the local Shell. We've got a caravan park. Some road trains in the background. And. One of this place's famous, world famous, apparently, homemade beef pies. And this looks absolutely fucking delicious. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, look at the pastry on it. Mmm, so flaky. Mmm. And that's gonna be the only thing that gets me through this drive, guys, is food and drink. Because, uh, on willpower alone, I just won't make it. So I'll see you guys at the next stop. I can't, I can't imagine I'll have another sleep, although I do have, you know, over seven hours driving to go, so it's a possibility. Can you guys see that? This is, wow. Wow, 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 just wow. This is fucking amazing. I just had to let you guys know. If you're ever coming through these parts and you see a roadhouse in the middle of nowhere with world famous homemade pies on the outside, you've got to get one. I don't think it matters where you are, whether you're in Outback Australia, Outback Texas, or, um, yeah, it's got to be Outback. It really does. So good. Okay. I am only... I'm, only, I'm literally only turning the camera on just to update you guys on what's happening. I cannot be fucked talking to the camera. Man, I... I <laughs> I just got, I just woke up from my fourth little micro sleep. I've had four, like, 15 to 30 minute sleeps on this trip, and it has only made me feel worse. I feel so terrible right now. And I have to apologize to someone. I'm not even gonna say his name, but I posted a YouTube video. You know, I, I've al I always make sure, I put in the work, I hustle, behind the scenes for my YouTube channel to make sure I've got videos to post, always, right? So, as I was coming home on this trip, I posted another couple of videos, and lo and behold, you know, as always, someone's not happy. Oh, why'd you post this player when you could have done this player? Why'd you do that player when you should have done this other player? Doesn't matter who they are, doesn't matter what player they're talking about, it's still just bullshit little hater comments, right? And me feeling the way I am right now, I snapped. I snapped back, I told him to shut the fuck up. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I'm just tired as hell. So give us a break. <laughs> I put up a Bernie Kosar video, apparently I looked at my phone during the video for like 30 seconds. For whatever reason, I didn't think it was a problem. Apparently it is. And it really affected me, so I fucking went nuts at the guy. I told him to, I said shut the fuck up or message me on Instagram. <laughs> and he did, he sent me an Instagram message. And then I went nuts at him through Instagram because of the way I'm feeling right now. Can you, can you understand man? I'm feeling like shit. I will never ever ever, I, I should have stayed in Darwin for a night. But I didn't want to, this was, my, this was my thinking guys, I didn't want to pay for a whole night's worth of hotel if I was gonna get there at like 1.30 in the morning and only be able to stay till 11. You know, I thought, nah, it's not going to be worth it, but really, it would have been. All I needed was a bed. But, in saying that, 
I wouldn't be here where I am right now at 1.27 in the afternoon. So, you know, I have made, you know, decent ground. We've done 12 hours traveling now. You saw, I, I got in the car, it was 1.36. <laughs> I think this whole fucking, this whole, this whole vlog or the whole fucking last half of it is just me complaining. So I apologize, guys. But if you did want to see what a road train looks like, we've got one just over there. One, two, three, four. Four carriages, that's got to be about 50, 55 to 60 meters long. And that's one unique thing about the roads here in uh, Central Australia, is you find massive trains. Sorry, not trains, road trains, trucks. They look like trains. Anyways, my, uh, my ex sent me a couple of pictures of Tate. She's, uh, she's waiting for me. I cannot wait to see her. That's all I'm thinking about right now. So, um, I don't know, I guess the, the last clip of the day might be me seeing Tate for the first time in a couple of weeks, my daughter. So, I'm looking forward to that. I've got about three hours drive. No, actually I've got four hours drive. And I've bought another one of these. <laughs> I've bought some water. That's the problem, I haven't drunk enough water. And I've got another ham and, ham and salad roll, so. And it's the depre it's the fact that I have to go to work, man. It's the depressing fact, you're not on holiday anymore. I mean, I can't wait to see my daughter, but that's not stopping me from, that's not, I mean, that doesn't mean I, I don't have to go to work still. So at least I don't have to go to work tomorrow. It's Wednesday today, I have to go back on Friday. So I've still got one more day off. So it's gonna be recovering, it's gonna be sleeping, getting my shit together, possibly doing a couple more reactions. But I promise I won't tell anyone to shut the fuck up anymore. <laughs> oh shit. The comments get to you, they do. I'm not gonna lie, but that's the territory that you go in when you start a YouTube channel. I'm about 300 k's away, two and a half hours, two hours 15, and I am feeling the best I've felt this entire trip. I'm starting to feel positive. I'm starting to feel like I'm nearly home. And that's a great feeling after all this fucking shit that I've been, I've been feeling. Man, I've been, I've been, uh, I've been what, what they call clinically depressed for the last 10 hours, but I am, I'm getting there. I'm fucking getting there. I don't know if you can hear me, the road noise in this car is terrible. But uh, I did download some, some podcasts, so I'm listening to uh, Gary V. Joe Rogan and stuff about the Australian uh, property market and uh, also some uh, some podcasts from RX Muscle my man Dave Palumbo my four favorite things to watch at the moment as well as football and now it's raining all right guys I've got absolutely no idea why I've gotten out of my car to take even longer to get home, but look, how good, how fucking good does that look? Alice Springs, 192 kilometers away. I've just filled up the car for the fifth and final time. This will be the final clip of the video. I can't wait to see my daughter. I can't wait to get home. I can't wait to lay my head on the pillow, but seriously, thank you guys for coming along. You've kept me company, you've kept me sane, but it is time to go, so I wanna say, have a fantastic day. You know what you know what I you know what I say. You know how it is. If you've liked the video, if you want to support me, you want to support the channel and its growth, hit that like button. If you want to subscribe and you haven't yet, you're crazy. So do it now. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace everybody. 192 Ks.